This show was first broadcast on Free FM 89.0, Hamilton, New Zealand's community access radio station. For more information on our station and our wide range of programs, visit freefm.org.nz. The music that they're planning to use to crumble the morals of America is this rotten, filthy, dirty, lewd, lascivious junk called rock and roll. An hour of 60s underground music from around the world. Retrospect 60s Garage Punk Radio. Great 60s Garage Punk, Freak Beat and Psychedelic. Podcast via all good podcasting providers and facebook.com slash retrospect garage punk radio. It's not nice. It's not nice. Well, hi again, 60s Garage Rock fans. I'm Phil Gray. Welcome to Retrospect 60s Garage Punk Show, episode 559. And we're doing a deep dive into obscure 60s Garage this week, starting it off with a band called The Other Half. There were at least three other bands called The Other Half, uh, bands out of LA, Chicago and Pennsylvania. This Other Half, though, covering my little red book, opening the show, of course, in tribute to that song's writer, Bert Bacharach. The song became somewhat of a standard in 1966 when done by Love, not the only band, of course, to have covered that song. Now, what has the juvenile court to do with this? But that show has sown certain seeds in these youngsters. And the seeds could be of a physical nature where they could be impaired with it. Well, we're digging deep into Obscure Garage. Here's a band out of Albion, New York. Formed by six members of the same high school marching band, uh, 1964. They chose the name The Humans, riffing off the trend of the time to name your band after various insects. They're out of Albion, New York, and this is called Warning. I'm in it. 
So just the other day, I read a particularly interesting thesis on current music. Listen to this. No simple formula seems to exist. What can be discerned is a grand simplification in the way accord sequences and melodic development. Isn't that interesting? Retrospect. This is Rick Saint of the Kyler Boys Band. You are tuned in to Phil Gray and the Retrospect 60s Garage Punk Show. Greetings from Denver, Colorado. Well, I left on a morning train. Yes, I left. She was to blame We had a quarrel We had a fight And now I guess That she was her eyes That she was her eyes If 
she won't take me back again Cause she said that she would in Spain Said that she would in Spain Another day with me Another day with me Another day with me Set of three tracks, starting off with the humans out of Albion, New York with Warning. Then we had the Stolen Children on Tomahawk Records out of Alabama, 1967, B-side, Set Me Free. And thirdly, The Minute Men, the track Another Day With Me, a B-side from September 1966 from this band out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Now it's even easier to get your weekly dose of 60s garage rock, garage punk, freak beat in psychedelia. Ah! Simply ask your Spotify-enabled device to play you Retrospect 60's Garage Punk Show. Here's a band out of Muskegon, Michigan, responsible for a garage classic called I'm Higher Than I'm Down. This band was set up well with high-quality Vox amps and a PA system and a very organised practice schedule thanks to strong management. I'm Higher Than I'm Down was their first single... May 1966 for Vark Records, which was their self-titled Vanity label. They had a follow-up, released in September 66, and two songs unreleased at the time, including this one. I Can't Explain. Okay, but but you know, it's not as good. Retrospect 60s garage punk, garage rock, and psychedelia.
isn't just the lyrics, it's the beat. Retrospect. 60s garage punk, garage rock and psychedelic. Three songs with very similar titles. First up, the Aardvarks with I Can't Explain. Then we had the Napoleonic Wars with a cover, of course, of the Who's I Can't Explain, but titled I Can't Explain It. The Napoleonic Wars. Then thirdly, The Love and Kind. From Kentucky, a place called Ashland, the band fronted by Jerry and Terry Childers in 1964. We had a track off a 45 release on Blues Artists Records. The B-side from The Love and Kind can't explain the song from Arthur Lee and Love. Did what you hear? Yeah! Check out back episodes of Retrospect, 60s garage punk radio show and podcast. Always available across all good podcasting providers, including Apple Podcasts, TuneIn.com, Stitcher Radio, Blueberry, Player.fm, MyTuner Radio, Mixcloud, CastBox, Podbean, Pod Directory, and many more. Yeah. We're exploring obscure 60s garage for this episode of Retrospect. Here's one from the Bear Facts on Harvest Records, April 1966. From La Porte, Indiana, a bunch of classmates from La Porte High School. This is an A-side from April 66, and it is called Instant Happiness. Got the key to instant happiness. She's got cold black hair.
and just the dog while we're kicking around. I got a funny feeling that I can't express. We have this song that I think is perfect for the album, but we're not really sure who should do it. Well, what's the uh, title of the song? Senator, the song is 96 Tears. Uh huh. That sounds like it's a uh, fairly sad song. Well, as I see the lyrics, Senator, it's uh, kind of a loser's song. People crying because they haven't made it or something like that. Well, uh, let's roll it from the top and uh, see who we can come up with. All right. All right, uh, hit it, guys. This is a uh, this is a very catchy tune. It uh, is. It is. Who'd you have in mind, guys? Well, the first one on the list is ex uh, senator from uh, Arizona, ex senator Barry. Senator Barry. Well, uh, I don't think so, guys. Uh, this is sort of a catchy tune, and uh, I think it'll fall behind in the timing. Uh, yeah. Who else you got there on the list? Senator, how about ex vice president Richard? Well, that, uh, that would be a good suggestion. Uh, he wants to get into something, I know that, but uh, does he work as a single, or will he bring the general along? A natural would be uh, Governor Ronald from California. He certainly would, because he, he's doing his own comedy act right now, yes. But I don't think so, no. Going to use it. Senator, how about the husband and wife governor team in the South? Well, uh, let's keep with our own sound, guys. Uh, I think uh, we're going to get into something like a uh, Sonny and Cher type of thing, and I don't think we want that. Who else you got? I think a natural would be uh, Congressman Adam, who's just gone into the record business. Well, uh, let's keep Boston Soul, baby. I, I like that better. Who else we got there? Senator, how about going really big at something like the New York Mets? New York Mets? Uh, well, I'd like uh, all of our singers to be on my team, uh, but I don't think I want that team on my team, no. Let's press ahead with someone else. George the actor. That's a good choice. The one who went out uh, with the president's door. Right. You think we can free him from the USO shows he's on now? I don't think it's possible. Who wrote this song, anyhow? It's a good question, Senator. Well, let's see. Definitely a mystery to me. Mark that down. Uh, say, guys, uh, we're almost at the end of the song here. Do you have any other suggestions, perhaps? No, Senator, that's about it. Nobody else? No huh? one left. That's the end of our list. What about outside there? No one out of the room. anybody in here in nope, the studio? That's it. that's it. Well, uh, what do you suggest we do, then? Senator, I got an idea. How about uh, if I read some of the lyrics to you, maybe you'll come up with an idea. Uh, all right, uh, let's uh, sing ahead. Too many teardrops for one heart to be crying. Too many teardrops for one uh, heart to carry on. Excuse me. Excuse me. I don't, I don't mean to interrupt like oh, this. Oh, please uh, do, sir. Right. Uh, I, I think after hearing those words, I, I'd rather do the instrumental version of this. No, instead. no, Senator, I don't think that would be quite enough. How about if you add something special of your own? How about did did ding to the end? Let's try that. Go ahead. All right. Yeah, Senator, why don't you try some scatting? Uh, I, I'd rather dip than scat, if you don't mind. Can I go ahead? Sure, sure. All right. Did 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 scat 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 I don't uh, scat I don't understand. Diddle diddle diddle. No no. Richard, it'll start getting cooler. You just watch.
I'm Phil Gray. Thanks for listening to Retrospect 60's Garage Punk Show. It's Obscure Garage this week. Four examples. The Bare Facts with Instant Happiness. Then a real curio. It is Senator Bobby and the Questions, but off the album from the Hardly Worth It Players, LP called Boston Soul, released on Parkway in 1967. So it's from this LP that uh, Senator Bobby and their version of Wild Thing, which I love so much, comes. This week, though, their cover of Question Mark and the Mysterians' 96 Tears from Senator Bobby and the Questions. Then the track with the very strong opening riff based on Hey Joe. The band is called The End, E-N-D-D, from La Porte, Indiana. They had a bunch of 45s from 1966 through 1969. We had Gonna Send You Back to Your Mother, their second single released on Seascape Records in 1967. Then we had The Novas on Parrot Records out of 1964. A track I think you could describe as frat rock. Cool track, though, from the Novas called The Crusher. The band out of Minnesota and Norton Records reissued their first 45 and some unreleased tracks in 1999. Time for some Global Garage now. Starting off in Belgium with a 7-inch on Olympia Records out of 1966. The band is called G69. This is the A-side called Growing Up. Go my way So listen 
Gray, host of Retrospect 60's Garage Punk Show. It's a labour of love. And if you dig what I do, why not buy me a beer? Yeah. Or just a coffee. You can do that now via buymeacoffee.com slash Mr. Phil Gray. That's buymeacoffee.com slash M-R-P-H-I-L-G-R-E-Y. Mr. Phil Gray. I may not be able to have a beer or coffee in person, but we can do it virtually. On with the show. A place to do.
tracks from continental Europe, G69 out of Belgium with Growing Up, then a band called The Sad Sack Set out of Germany, 1967, on a label called Cornet. It's the B-side of their 67 single. The track was called The World For Us. This band also had been known as The Rangers and The Trembles. Apparently they were sued by CBS in 1967 because they had the same name as another band signed to CBS, or at least very similar. They lost that case, had to pay out all their assets to settle with CBS and then set up. So a sad story from the sad sack set. Uh, thirdly in the set we had I Baritas out of Oristano, Italy. Formed 62, active through to 71. Covers of course of lots of English and American songs translated into Italian, including the Beach Boys Help Me Ronda and Cream's Sunshine of Your Love. I Baritas, a track called Su Straku. I'm going to continue with Obscure 60s Garage, and one of the obscure bands that I love so much is these guys out of New Jersey. One cult favourite single called Horror Asparagus Stories. The band is called The Driving Stupid. They also are known for somewhat absurd lyrics and psychedelic instrumentals. This one is called I'm Gonna Bash Your Brains. You burn my bathtub, took all my dough, stomp on my car, filled it with snow. You broke my staircase, ate all my rugs, filled up my stove with a thousand bucks. Her hair was dark brown, so were her eyes. They were deceiving, they hid her lies. Well, I'm gonna bash your brains in, smash your face in, tear your nose off. I'm gonna bash your brains in, and you won't be. That day you left me, I robbed a bank I bought a baseball and an army tank Somebody asked me, what did I do? I had to tell them, I didn't do anything Her hair was dark brown, so were her eyes They were deceiving, they hid her lies Well, I'm gonna bash your brains in Smash your face in Brush your teeth, I'm gonna Bash your brains in and you won't leave me You won't deceive me But now you're back home Down on your knees Saying you love me you make me sneeze You'll never leave here I'm sick of you Teach you a lesson Break you in two Her hair was dark brown So were her eyes They were deceiving They hid her lies Well, I'm gonna Bash your brains in Smash your face in Do strange things to your intestines I'm gonna Bash your brains in And you won't leave One of the potentials for illegal drug traffic is the school. Here the connection can be found with these peddlers of misery who prey on the unwary, the uninformed, the curious, the thrill seekers. Most young people will continue through life as normal, responsible citizens. Others, the shunted and unloved, the unguided, the seekers of thrills and kicks are candidates for the slave world of lifelong drug addiction. But no one is immune. I was walking by the 
pond run where I find day. I dug me some frogs starting into play. They started into hopping from the left to the right, and I said, hey man, this dance is out of sight. When they started into move, it was such a groove, the frog. So I went and got my baby, took her by the hand. started to move and before long we were in the groove Every day and night, well it's alright That is a band called The Eatons from 1964 on USA Records, A side of a 45 track called The Frog. Heading out this week with a track from Steve Cooper and the Avantes. It appears on a Norton Records 2014 re-release single which has a guy called Chuck Sledge on the A side, a song White Heat. Steve Cooper and the Avantes with this track Skydiver on the B side, uh, originally released by Steve Cooper and the Avantes on Yucca Records in May 1966. This is Skydiver, Steve Cooper and the Avantes. Thanks for joining me. I'm Phil Gray for Retrospect 60's Garage Punk Show. Retrospect. Retrospect Garage Punk Radio on Facebook and Retrospect 60s Garage Punk on Instagram. And for back episodes, find Retrospect 60s Garage Punk Show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and lots more great podcasting platforms. Am I supposed to be a big fan? It's fine, but it's really not appropriate.
This free FM podcast was brought to you with support from New Zealand On Air.